The heavy amount of rainfall from the hurricane caused significant flooding throughout our area, but it also caused many landslides, leaving some places unrecognizable. News Channel 11 meteorologist Jeremy Eisensoff reports on the dangers landslides pose to our mountainous region moving forward. Sometimes the best way to move forward is looking back at the lessons learned from Helene. After historic rainfall, the ground became unstable and led to nearly 2,000 landslides in the region, permanently altering our landscape. Awareness is the first step in understanding the risk factors involved with landslides. With new residents flocking to the region over the last several years, being aware of the risks may help lead to better decision making. According to Dr. Nandy, a geosciences professor at ETSU, those areas that were affected by landslides are at a higher risk for future landslides. Those are the places which were already susceptible to failure, probably 50 years, 100 years, 200 years back. It may be a challenge to avoid the risk altogether, but perhaps there are smarter ways to live in our mountainous region. The hill slopes are really unstable here because of uh, anything that's as small as erosion to as big as mega slides like the debris flows. Uh, those happens in our mountains where we are modifying the slope by anthropogenic processes and cut down the trees, uh, steepen the slope that way and all those adds to the instability that we already have in, in this area. Better coordination between the public and state geological surveys could help improve awareness in the future. We have not done a good job in terms of creating landslide maps for the state. Uh, North Carolina do have this landslide map for the entire state. Uh, Kentucky has it. Virginia has such a database, but it's not public. But I think uh, from the Virginia Department of Geosciences uh, and Geography, one can get that data. One of the biggest challenges moving forward is communicating these risks to residents, especially those more recent transplants from other parts of the country. When it comes to weather impacts, we know that heavy rain will increase the landslide landslide risk in the region. It can be more complex though determining how or when such landslides may take place given a specific amount of rainfall. There's this rule of thumb that we use four to five inches of rain in 24 hours can trigger a landslide. We have seen that but for Helene it was like three or four times more rain that had happened. Chances for a heavy rainfall event are highest during the summer season but given the right situation a heavy rain event could trigger landslides any time of the year. Helene was a multi-generational storm that will never be forgotten. Lessons learned after the storm will help us be better prepared for future storms.